awesome. What year is it? Let State Farm find your hidden savings with a discount double check. Got it. Woo! Get to a better state. State Farm. Tonight on the free Joe McGrain. We're going live inside the park. We're going to Seattle. The Angels down by two. Albert Pujols had to play. He's a great player. Never seen him hit a, a two run shot. With yeah, him. but he's he facing a bartender that throws 98. This guy was out of the game for a while, tending bar. And how do you take all that time off and come back rushing it up there like Williamson's been doing? Yeah, the high 90s fastball for Tom Wilhelmson's been real good in that closer's role for the Mariners. Brandon League was not. In the beginning of the year, and Wilhelmson came in, I think a lot of people thought that it was just a matter of time before League was back to the team's closer. But as you saw there, not a very strong swing from the King. It's a good job of Ryan staying with that hop. It really hit right on the, the grass seam right there. It took a little hop, made a nice adjustment with it. So Pujols will fall to one for four on the day, bringing up Kendrys Morales, who's 0 for three in this game. So it looks like the Angels, unless they can get a rally going here, as they work through the middle of their lineup, that five-game winning streak in danger right now. With the Mariners up 2-0, a couple solo home runs in this game. Jesus Montero, Carlos Peguero, and Tom Wilhelmson trying to close it out. Yeah, the Angels have, you know, these nice little streaks here and there. They have their number one out there in Jared Weaver, which normally represents win day. But the, it just doesn't seem like they can get any traction here lately. Yeah, they only have five hits in this game. Iwakuma was strong for the Mariners. Check a look at his final line. Seven and one third for him. He gave up those five hits. No walks, seven Ks. Is he year in the year? Three, one, four. So uh, Iwakuma, another strong uh, outing from him as the Mariners trying to close it now with him out of there, going to the bullpen. It's going to be real interesting to see now as Morales is up 2-0 now. 3-0, so they might be able to get a base runner coming up after uh, Morales' trumbo. So that would be huge if Morales can work a walk here. I was just going to say about the Angels. It's going to be really telling coming up here because after this series is over, they go to Oakland, play a set there, and they kick off a seven-game homestand against the Tigers and the A's. So two against the A's. The Tigers come to town. Kind of put up or shut up time in the early part of September. Well, absolutely. You want to be able to control it and be looking in the, right in the eye at the, you know, the team that you're chasing because you just immediately pick up ground. And it's not one of those deals, uh, we lost, they lost, vice versa. So, you know, but these are the type of games here in this situation when, like I said, when their number one starter is out there and they're two outs away from taking an L. That walk was huge because now Mark Trumbo comes up to the plate as a Vernon Wells will pinch run for Morales. Comes up to the plate, the potential tying run here in the top of the ninth inning. We're going to listen in live on MLB Tonight. Trumbo today 0 for 3. A couple of strikeouts and a fly ball to center. They're looking to break their pitch for a strike. Fastball. The breaking pitch has been fine for him. So got him back into count. 